we're really live. We are really live. Are you live? Three lives. Three lives. <laughs> Andy Skinner okay. is about to show. The new deco art pouring medium. Um, this has everything in it, so it's got the silicone already included, where a lot of people add that afterwards, which will give you the sounds. I'm using the Media Fluid Acrylics. I like these best with it because they're a very fluid paint anyway. And I'm actually going to try with some metallic for the first time. So when you're using the Media Fluid Acrylics, it's four to one. Four paint, one pouring medium. If you're using a regular acrylic, it's one to one. So I'm just going to add. I don't measure this out. Perfectly, just yeah, what I think. Hi, Miriam. And then you stir them. And you start making a mess. <laughs> Is there any length of time? Do we need to let it set or cure or anything like that? Or just go for it? I just go for it. Just make sure you stir it properly. Um, so I'm going to pour a little bit of yellow. Which has already got the pouring medium it's already, in. These have already got the pouring medium in. We go for a little bit of red. And what kind of pour is this pour, Andy? Uh, just a regular pour. We do a dirty pour afterwards, which is my favourite. Well. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit turquoise. Ooh, nice. okay. And would you say there's any sort of limited colours you can use? Or? I don't think so. We are trying metallic for the first time that I've tried it. It's a bit of silver. I have this time put some tags underneath. <laughs> Hopefully you catch all the waste. And then we're just going to pour and try to cover the hole. Would you go light to dark on purpose or is it, can it go, can you go any, any order? Uh, any order. Now I'm no pour and expert, you know, this is only the second time I've done it at a show, but it's that simple. Drying time, I say now, around about two hours. Because yesterday I got asked about 20 times. So. <laughs> And you can cheat a little bit if you want to. You haven't covered up really. And with the drying time, is there anything we can do to speed up the drying or is it better to leave it in natural process? Good question. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you can use a heat tool. <laughs> you can use a heat tool. That's one pour. And again, you've got little tiny blobs. Just use your finger. Um, I'm going to try now and put a little bit of white on the top just to see if we get any cells happening or... What, causes, cells. what creates the cells? That's then? the silicone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, ooh, got magenta coming through. Yeah. So the white isn't going to completely block it out? No, can you see cells yeah, starting to just happen yeah. here now? Would, that would happen with any of the colours. It's not yeah, because it's I white. Seem to get it's really it's good got white. the silicone in the pouring medium. Yeah. Sorry, what are we getting? I missed that. We're starting to get a few cells. See these? Oh yeah. So the the more fluid, the more pouring medium you put in, you're going to get more cells. I've done this okay. kind of standard how it should be. Could you put the pouring medium directly on there without any paint? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you're not going to get. Would, would that not create cells? No. no. Okay. Like, I meant to still have your paint there, but then like where you just put the white on, if you put pouring medium on, that wouldn't just create cells on its own. No. Okay. No. It needs the paint. With the it needs the paint. <laughs> so if I put two cups upside down. Oh, top tip, Andy. Two, two cups upside down to hold it a bit. To hold it, and then mm -hmm. put paint all over their desk. Okay. We've got some on the tent here. I'll see if I can put all the tent. If you're doing it on grey board, it dries really quickly because the grey board just takes all the moisture um, out of the paint. So let's add a little bit to this. So also when you're doing it with grey board, you do need the, the mixture to be a lot more fluid. It's just a more absorbent surface. More absorbent, yeah. yeah. Andy? Yes? We can't hear you on this. Can you okay. talk a little bit? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to speak up? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> up to the side. 
this one I actually quite like how it's just settled. That looks really nice. Yeah, actually. but I will pour it. I said I will pour it. <laughs> Pardon? Hey? <laughs> Brenda, can you hear us now? Oh, it's only Brenda, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hopefully she didn't hear that. Yeah, she said, yes, thank you, kiss, kiss, so. So if you use lots of light colours, then you can make nice backgrounds to stamp onto or to emboss onto. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm just thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And really you can get away with just using three primary colours, you know, magenta. There you go. What's I've the just top wiped my hands. <laughs> That looks so rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, what's the top tip about keeping your hands clean, Andy? I'd suggest wearing rubber gloves <laughs> when you do this, um, but I didn't bring any. I, but, and honestly, it, it, it's quite tough to get off your hands, so do you wear rubber gloves. It's got like a blue within mm. it as well, so it really does stick. Um, so is that you done? It's me all done. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>